scripted. That's just how he drew it up. It wouldn't be a Max Hall game without the magic. That's the biggest Hail Mary he's ever thrown. Where did he throw it from? That was deep. It's at least 40 yards. No, more than that. It was midfield. Yeah, it was. It, the ball was midfield, so I don't know where he threw it from. And I caught it in the back of the end zone. There are people claiming it. It was, uh, <laughs> I don't know about all that. So this is what happened. All game, I was telling him, you got to throw me the deep ball. Go over the deep ball. I need the deep ball. I got to get my first touchdown in the Bellevue Stadium. And I went in on offense a couple times. I was at tight end, and I ran some digs. Didn't get the ball thrown my way. And so anyway, game goes on. We were playing pretty good beating them, but they, they played well. They came back. They take the lead, which was terrible. As soon as they scored, I ran over, I was in on defense. I ran over to where Max is and I said, let's go, we got the deep ball. I can beat them. And he, this is what he says. He says, we need a chunk play first, then we'll go for it. So sure enough, they did the chunk play to Cody. Worked perfect. We had three seconds left and Max was trying to do another chunk play. He's like, let's get another chunk play and call a timeout. I was like, we don't have time for that. There's only three seconds. This is the last play. So he's like, okay, I'll throw it up. And he's like, you over there, you three over there. So anyway, I ran, got down to the end zone as fast as I could, and Max still got a cannon, and he put it up there, and I just tracked the ball, and yeah, it was, it was great. And I got two broken fingers, so <laughs> what a game. So is this like 2007 Utah now, you're Austin Collie? Yes, this is, I, this is it. Austin wasn't here, that's why I subbed in. Uh, it was awesome, it was fun, great, great turnout. Fans were amazing being here, the game was fun. Every, you know, guys still got it, Levy Heeple still got wheels. And uh, it was fun. This was, was awesome. It's great to be back here. Is this what you expected this game to be? Yeah. It, it, I'll, you know what's funny? When I saw the rosters, I thought our team was going to smoke them. So credit to them. Credit to Federick and Peterson. They both threw the ball really well. Skelly's tough. I mean, offense is going to win. Offense is going to win in Skelly. So it's tough. Tough to get stops. Um, but it was fun. It was just fun. Great to be back here. I mean, it's been 15 years since I've been in here. And it's fun. My kids. Like two of my three kids are here, and they never saw me play, so it's it's cool for them to be here and see me play. It's just it's fun. Yeah, what did it feel like to play under the lights here at LES again? It, so earlier th th this afternoon at lunch, we had a meeting, and Kalani spoke to us, and he, he's Kalani's awesome. Everybody knows that. And the message he gave to us was fantastic. It was all about alumni and just being here in this house, this house that built us as men. And he gave a great message, and, and it just it really hit home with me. 15 years ago, we played Utah on this field. And it was senior night, and I sat there at midfield after that game and cried like a baby. When the emotions just hit me of, of growing up with season tickets from the time I was the age of my kids, and coming here and, and dreaming about playing on this field. And then I played here for four years, and then when it all came to an end, it just hit me that night, and I was just crying like a baby. So anyway, that's 15 years ago, and today, thinking about that when Kalani was speaking to us, and coming through the tunnel and getting your name called out and being in the locker room, and, it's just, it's just awesome. It's special. It's a unique place. It will always hold a uh, a, a home place in my heart, and it was just fun to be here. They've talked about wanting to do this more. Is that your walk off or you back? Oh, I'll, anytime they they do this, I want in. Like, you know, I I love playing. I love competing. I I still have dreams, almost weekly, that I'm still playing, and I wake up and I'm sad because I I just miss it. It's in my blood. It's in my DNA. I love football. I miss it so. I'm Uncle Rico now, I'm old, and it's fun to just come out here and run around and pretend to be young again. So you're going to lobby Kalani, Jack, whatever you need to I think Kalani was saying he was just impressed with the turnout and the fans and everybody, and, and he was like, man, we're going to have to make this an annual thing. And I was like, I'm in, man, this is, this is great. Sign me up. It was fun. play with guys from a lot of different eras. So that was fun. Younger, older, a lot of different when I looked at the when I looked at the, the rosters and I saw Jamal Willis and Kalen Hall, I we had season tickets. I started coming to the games when I was about six in 1990, and so I saw all those years, high Denver years, and then 92, 93, 94. And when I was eight, nine years old, I wanted to be a BYU running back, and so that's all I wanted to be. And Jamal Willis and Kalen Hall, all, they were my heroes. So when I looked at the rosters, it was fun for me to see that I'll be playing against those guys that I literally that's who I wanted to be when I was eight years old and so it was cool it was special and you know Eric Drage you got the guys from a different generation and it was fun for us middle-aged guys to play with those old guys well, you gotta play with the young guys too. Yeah. Guys and the young guys younger than me yeah so there's I mean three generations here and um, 
a lot of history at BYU, obviously, and it was, it was fun. Well, you gave us a lot of fun to watch. And, oh, <laughs> the game was way better. I mean, like I said, I thought it was going to be a blowout. And credit to them, they played really well and took the lead, and well, Max Hall will find a way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.